Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. I made a video yesterday trying to explain something to Terry 3G's as far as knowing uh, the materials and stuff that he has and the hardware that he has on his electric guitar. But I kind of did something that was kind of my fault and my ignorance was not to explain it at a level that he can understand. So right now I'm going to explain this at a level that he can understand and hopefully he may learn certain something. individuals out there on the internet that like to, you know, stir things up. I'm going to stress this one thing. My overall goal was the fact that when I previously refinished this body, I did not take the necessary precautions to actually bring the levels of the body up so to per what way. does that mean that means that uh, when you remove material whether it be paint uh, primer body filler would to bring the body back up to more within the standards of where it was finished or where it should be you have to put said materials back into place bullshit so yes, he was talking about how the finish of a guitar uh, can change things as far as uh, where things or how things are fitting on the body. Okay, so in having to put that finish back in order for things to fit correctly. So here I am, I'm going to kind of show him a little bit in a way that he'll understand how this works. So let's say you have the body of a guitar. Let's just call this the body of a guitar. This is kind of a side view of the body. And this will be the wood. So I'll also do this to make it a lot easier and say body. Makes it a lot easier to understand this way. All right. So right here we have what's called the neck pocket. Right. Are you with me so far? I hope you are, Terry. So, now we're going to talk about the finish that's on the body of the guitar. So, let's go with a blue color. That works out pretty good. So, I'm going to kind of just draw a line here, showing that that is the finish, or paint, on the body of the guitar. So. Terry 3G's was saying how, well, removing the finish, you have to put the finish back uh, to factory specs in order for things to drop into place the right way and to fit a certain way on the body. Bullshit. No, that is not true. If you remove the finish of the body of a guitar, uh, which basically brings it back to wood, so you end up getting rid of the paint finish all right that much or thickness is not going to change anything as far as how the neck is going to fit how the pickups are going to be or how the bridge is going to be all right so let's label this so we understand what I'm talking about so this will be bridge And these two here pickups. All right, so there. Now, adding too much finish. Now there is a problem. So it's like what I'm doing with the epoxy resins. It's very easy to add too much finish. Therefore, you will have to raise. So that I will use, let's say, a red crayon. Or let me see. This is this red. Uh, magenta, magenta. So, if you add too much finish to a guitar, well, now you're changing things. All right, that finish is a lot thicker. So, I will use the red as the new finish. And as you can see, the neck is down. The pickups are going to be a lot higher now, 
And what you're gonna end up having to do is I will use a green to shim the hell to shim the hell out of the bottom of the neck in order to bring the neck up to spec where it's supposed to be. Because now with the neck down, the bridge is gonna be up higher, the pickups are gonna be up higher because you're sitting and they're on top of the finish. And the only way to correct this is to sand down that thick finish to a comfortable thickness that everything is gonna line back up again. Now, another thing is, we'll get rid of this one, we'll save this one for later. Say you have I'm going to have to label this so he understands. There's the body of the guitar. And again, this is the neck. And you have the pickups. And then you have the bridge. Now, what Terry 3G's did, and he's not going to say that he did this, but I know he did, because of the way he was trying to explain what happened with that Ibanez guitar. Begin with me saying getting the body correctly to level. I got these actual holes uh, milled out perfectly. What he did, is he took a sander and I'm going to use, let's see here, I need something bright. It's a color I didn't use yet. Uh, we'll use this one here. What is this one? Brick red. All right, we'll use brick red. So what he ended up doing is he ended up sanding the hell out of the top and the bottom of the guitar, okay? Making the neck stick up higher, pickups and bridge lower. And on top of that, I need another piece of paper for this one. This will be the neck heel of the body of the guitar. This will be the neck. So for in order for the screws or bolts or whatever you want to call it, the washers and the screws on the neck to be flush with the body, well, by factory specs they are. And nothing really changes. Unless you sand the shit out of that area, now you have raised screws that are sticking up above the body. That's what Terry 3G has did. Now, putting on a new thick finish, all you're gonna ask for is problems with that finish in the long run, because a thick finish will crack. So once again, if he doesn't understand, we'll go through this. This is the body, this is the neck, the pickups, the bridge. Paint's crossed off because you sanded it off. New finish goes on, say a thicker finish, that will change the depth of the neck pocket to where the neck will be sitting in there a little bit more, and the pickups and bridge will be sitting up a little bit higher. Call for a shim in doing so. Here we have what Terry 3G's did. You've got the neck, the body, pickups, and the bridge, and he sanded the piss out of the top and bottom of the guitar. Why? I don't know. I would have used whatever finish was on that guitar as, say, a primer. Perfect, just sand it down really good and spray on top of it. It works out great. No need for to buy a primer to put on top of it. As long as you're not spraying lacquer on top of something like enamel or something like that because then that causes a bad reaction and ends up looking like, uh, well, 
pay remover. So what he ended up doing, and the way he explained it, his screws were sticking up on the back of the neck because he shaved too much off of it. And also how he explained how the none of the um, covers and plates and everything else fit right after he finished the guitar the first time. That's because he didn't block sand it the way you're supposed to block sand a finish. Uh, regardless if it's an arch top or a flat, you should still block sand it. Because if you don't, and you end up sitting in one spot, well, now when you put something flat on top of that spot, it's going to have a gap between it. Next, we have something that he explained about the Ibanez ZR trim. I'm missing some hex bolts in the uh, original uh, Ibanez Zero trim. What? Now this one's going to have to be drawn in more detail for him to understand. <coughs> so I will use a blue crayon in order to just do so. So we have six. Six saddles. We have the plate on one side. Bottom plate down the other side. This is where your trim bar would be. These are where the strings would come out. Now on this side, which is closer to your gut, there is a large circle. That circle unscrews and it is threaded on one side. Now mine has the rubber washer that goes underneath there. It's not really an O-ring, it's kind of like a rubber washer. So this doesn't vibrate loose when you're playing the guitar. Now in order to adjust each saddle for intonation, that comes out and you thread it into each one of the saddles. The saddle has a post in underneath them that that screw goes up against that post and it helps you to adjust your intonation. There are no hex screws on the bottom. Now, a hex screw is basically a hex screw which is shaped like this. You're talking about an Allen screw or a set screw with an Allen head on it. Okay, you got the wrong thing. So hopefully this helps you Terry 3Ds and I hope this explains it in much more detail and helps you out with your problem. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.